Drop it. Welcome to the mini show Fusions. Today we are joined by Ryan Soskin, co-founder and CEO of Good Ship. Welcome to the show, Ryan. Hey, Mary. Thanks for having me. I am pretty excited about today. So this is the official return-ish of Fusions. You know, we took a little break over the summer and now we're getting back into some of these integrations and I cannot be more excited. Before we get too far, let's get some background on you and what led you to uh, start Good Ship. Yeah, absolutely. So I've spent my entire career with innovators in the transportation and supply chain space, uh, including time as an early employee at Coyote Logistics, Convoy, and Stored. And along the way, I developed uh, a deep understanding of the unique workflows and challenges in the world of contract freight. So specifically, I observed a few recurring pain points with no obvious solution. First was that contract freight procurement, the process is just super antiquated, manual, and time-consuming. Uh, often it takes a shipper an enterprise shipper two to four months to complete uh, you know, a network-wide bid. And by then the market is usually shifted and contracts are likely set to fail. The second problem I, I encountered was that carriers don't really know what they're signing up for in these events. So typically they're only given information like origin, destination, truck type, and estimated annual volume. Missing are key details like seasonality, lead time, day of week for pickup and drop off. These characteristics have a huge impact on price. And then finally, even after a procurement event is complete, these lanes have, uh, and, and these lanes have been awarded out to carriers, these arrangements are really just handshake agreements, not binding contracts like we think of them, uh, of them in other, uh, other industries. So as soon as the market shifts or the carrier discovers some undesirable lane characteristics, carriers might no longer honor their commitments if it's not in their economic interest. And so for all these reasons, uh, it's, that's why we decided to, to build GoodShip, to create the first all-in-one platform for analytics, carrier management, and transportation procurement. And just to, to quickly clarify, GoodShip is not a TMS. We're the control tower that sits on top of any shipper TMS, creating a multiplayer experience for shippers and their brokers and carriers to collaborate and optimize outcomes. I absolutely love it. As a former um, pro procurement analyst, the uh, the fact that, uh, that shippers take two months to redo an entire bid is all too real in my heart. Like it is, it was my day to day and it's, it's not fun. So anyone that can go through and kind of improve it and make it better is an immediate win for me. Um, so for those who might not know, sonar tracks, track rates were just integrated into good ship. What are kind of some of the benefits that come from this integration for the business? How does it help streamline operation? Yeah, absolutely. So some important context here is that the quality of transportation data has improved dramatically over the past few years, thanks to folks like FreightWave Sonar. Uh, but unfortunately, this data tends to live in silos across multiple teams and systems, not in the case of Sonar, but you know, in other, other cases. Think tender data from shippers TMS, uh, real-time location data from visibility providers and ELDs, uh, contract award data that lives in a separate procurement tool, or more likely a spreadsheet on someone's desktop. Ultimately, this makes it difficult for shippers to leverage their data to identify the key insights needed to optimize outcomes. And so GoodShip is changing this. We surface the metrics that matter most, like sonar track rates, in a single intuitive UI. And our shippers are seeing significant gains in operational efficiency by leveraging our one-stop shop. Their key data previously lived across multiple third-party portals, systems, email threads, spreadsheets, they lacked a comprehensive performance dashboard and wasted valuable mindshare gathering those KPIs. But with GoodShip, they get all their critical insights in real time in an easy to use single location. I really like that because, you know, it's no secret that anyone who's ever spent any time in a transportation management uh, type of situation, that they'll, there'll be like six or seven screens just to get one load booked and you're going from here to there. And then you're referencing something over here just to go back over here. And it's, it's exhausting. Absolutely. Yes. So with these, um, with this partnership and in this integration and some of the other features that GoodShip offers, what does this look like to the end user? What's sort of that final value add that comes in that says like, hey, don't worry, we're your one-stop shop and we actually mean it? Yeah. So GoodShip's integration with Sonar is extremely valuable to our shipper customers. So incorporating benchmarking data alongside historical carrier contract and service performance unlocks powerful insights for shippers. So as an example, without seeing the full picture, you might as a shipper inadvertently shift business away from a cost-effective carrier based on performance data without market context. On the other hand, good ships lane insights with data points like lead time, seasonality, uh, and more can add context for why you might be moving a particular lane at an above market rate or why service may be suffering. 
But it's also important to highlight that GoodShip does more than just surface these insights. We provide the tools to take corrective action directly from within the platform. So you can collaborate with carriers in real time. You can trigger performance improvement plans, initiate rate renegotiations, even run a mini bid or RFP all from the platform. So in short, I would say our partnership with Sonar drives immense value for our customers. And the addition of track rates adds yet another robust data point for our recommendations engine and ultimately helps uh, helps us take our shippers from insight to action uh, just in seconds. I really, really like that thing that you said where you said that, you know, it lets you know when you're running outside of the normal, when you kind of have these outliers that normally, you know, someone would have to manually go through and look and see like, oh, this is weird that we're continuously running this a little high, but eh, it could have just been the week. I like that it kind of highlights it and brings it forward. So that way, you know, if it's just rates were just high that week, we just had to eat it and move on. Or if it's an actual like reaction to something happening, for example, if you know that for some reason, ship rates out of one facility is all of a sudden much higher, but compared to other ones, it's not. Well, maybe there's something wrong with that facility and it kind of lets you dig a little deeper to figure out what the true root problem is um, to make sure it's not a problem. And ultimately, you know, as a shipper, save a bunch of money for not having unnecessary transportation. Exactly. Help you diagnose exactly where things may be going wrong and why and figure out where you want to be taking corrective action. I absolutely love it. So I guess when it comes to improving workflow and processes here, what does it kind of um, what kind of look? What does it look like? What can users expect to see, you know, inside the software? Yeah, sure. We can uh, we can dive into the platform for a, a real life example. That would be fantastic. OK, perfect. So in this case, we'll assume we're a shipper. Uh, within the GoodShip platform, we start on the dashboard view. This shows all up network health indicators customized to each shipper's unique preferences. From here, I can click into the insights tab. This is our recommendations engine. And immediately I can see the top opportunities to reduce spend, increase on-time service and reduce spot market exposure. If we drill deeper into savings, I can now see lanes where I'm overpaying based on market rates provided by Sonar. And then from there, I can easily click into the lane see more detail about it. And so let's see, looking at this lane, there aren't any obvious factors that would lead us to believe what we should be paying an elevated rate relative to market. Uh, historical performance looks fine. Lead time seems pretty good. Pickup and drop off day of the week is reasonable. And so now I can look at the carrier. I see they're a solid, reliable partner for us. So in this case, I'll go ahead and send them a rate renegotiation to get us back in line with the market they'll get an email that they can accept the new rate right from their inbox. The email will also include a deep link back into GoodShip where the carrier can accept, reject, counter the proposal, or even communicate about the lane. And so there you go. In under a minute, we found and, found and addressed an opportunity to optimize our freight spend. If I spent a few more minutes in the Insights tab, I could also address some of these lanes with service issues or even run a, a bid based on lanes that consistently go to spot all without spreadsheets, without tabbing through multiple windows or firing off dozens of emails. I mean, to me, it's a kind of a game changer that just by going through a couple like a couple screens in one program, I don't have to log into something else and log into this and log into that. I just magically have kind of everything that I need. And also that, you know, when I see that problem, I can go ahead and take that corrective action immediately. I don't have to just, you know, do the analysis and then turn around and go, okay, well, now I have to go and pull some more data to send to this carrier to be like, hey, we need to do this. And here's our here's what our proposed solution is. It's literally just like right there and click and done. I absolutely love that. Yeah, thanks. It's, it's, and it's super easy for carriers too, because they have real time access to the data. So there's no surprises. They can see the same thing that the, the shipper sees. So everyone's always on the same page, which makes for stronger relationships and, and better collaboration as well. I feel like that really has to help with that like transparency part of it, because you know, the biggest thing that everybody always thinks is like, oh, someone's trying to pull something over on me, especially, you know, shippers trying to hide rates or carriers trying to, you know, try and charge a shipper a little bit extra. I really like that that introduces that level of transparency um, just for that open line of communication and that trust building that feels like it's almost worth its weight in gold kind of as we use relationships to kind of get us through the rest of these down. Yeah, totally. And when we first started building Good Ship, I didn't know how much carriers would like it. And over the, the past couple of years building this, we've gotten nothing but glowing reviews from carriers. They love being able to see exactly where they stand through the shipper's eyes. Um, another problem is that even though everyone measures most of the same metrics, on-time service, contract adherence, um, you know, things of that nature, they still don't um, 
you know, there's no standardization from one shipper to the next, right? So on-time service could be measured to the appointment. It can be measured to the day. There could be a buffer. And so when you're a carrier or a broker supporting 10, 20, 50 different shipper accounts, it's really hard to keep track of what the goalposts are for each of those shippers and how they measure all the KPIs. And so with good ship, carriers can come in, see exactly what the shipper sees, exactly how things are measured. Uh, and that way, when you show up to a monthly or quarterly business review or check call, you come in eyes wide open on the same page and it becomes a really productive use of time as opposed to some uncomfortable meetings I've been in the past. I'm sure other, other listeners have as well, where you show up, you self-report your data and the shipper then says, well, that's not what we've got. We've got you here for this and there for that. And, um, the meetings quickly spirals out of control and it, it becomes, well, how'd you get to that number? And you're unpacking the data and it's just not a good way to use time. So with good ship, everyone's on the same page. Times used more constructively, um, and and I think it's a win-win for everyone. Oh, absolutely! As some of those meetings, you've come in with a scorecard, and then suddenly it just becomes a who blames who, and it gets a little it gets a little loud. I'll, that's the polite way of saying it. It just gets a little loud in those meetings. Absolutely, not not from the carrier or the broker for sure. No, not at all from them at all. Um, so when it comes to kind of you know looking for some integrations or looking for some partnerships, uh, you know, whether you're a shipper looking for software or a carrier looking for someone, what are some of these red flags and green flags you might come across when you're looking to partner with somebody? Sure. So first I'll just say good ship is agnostic in terms of our compatibility with, with customers existing system. So if a shipper is using a TMS, good ship is compatible. Um, new customers can get rolling with our platform in a matter of days. There's no extensive IT support or complex, lengthy technical integration, super easy to get set up typically inside of two weeks. And, and all the work happens mostly on the good ship side. Um, and when it comes to partnerships involving a direct integration to our platform, we are a bit more selective. Uh, our goal isn't to muddy the waters by establishing connections with every possible partner and service every possible metric. We really aim to provide the insights that matter the most. And so with this in mind, all partners must bring a unique value to our customers that isn't redundant with, with our current offering and can draw a direct line to improvement of cost, performance, uh, or ideally both. Um, there's one thing that you said that is a little um, mind blowing. It's two weeks to get set up with you guys. And it doesn't take like six months of chasing down one IT person because the integration didn't go through all the way and we're stuck on something and you know, it's a year and a half later and we're just still at the same point with only like 20% functionality. Yeah, exactly. So the first shippers that wanted to come on the platform, we talked about doing API integrations and really doing the, the full technical onboarding. And uh, very quickly, we found out that they didn't have the resources available or that it was going to be deprioritized many months. And so our very talented uh, engineering and product team put their heads together and figured out how we could do this without deteriorating the experience. Uh, in order to make this really, really frictionless and easy for shippers to adopt. So that's been a, a huge um, a huge feature that, that shippers have uh, gravitated towards. I never worked with a software partner that gets something done that quickly. Um, and it's just, it's fantastic as someone who used to beat her head against the wall, sending follow-up email after follow-up email. Um, so on behalf of pe frustrated people everywhere, thank you. Yeah, thanks thanks for calling that out. We're, uh, yeah. We want to make it as easy to adopt good ship as possible. I mean, two weeks is like basically, you know, it takes longer to, I don't know, grow something from the ground. I don't know. That was a bad example. <laughs> um, so we are running out of time. If there's somewhere that if uh, if someone wants to check out some of your guys' uh, content offerings, anything like that, where can they find you outside of the show? Yeah. Uh, our website is goodship.io. You can get some information about us there and, and um, you can... Put your email in and, and request a demo. Um, also, if, you, if you're looking for me, I'm on LinkedIn and uh, you can find Good Ship on socials as well. Awesome. Thank you so much for joining us today. And um, you guys heard it here first, two weeks and all, most of your problems can be solved. I absolutely love it. Thank you so much. Thanks, Mary. Drop it.